England, the first senior nation to play a full international here in Malaysia, all in white. And if the World Cup ever comes to Asia, well, there's a great passion and appetite for football here, there's no doubt. And there's the first challenge going in from number four, Chow. And it's a free kick to England on the right-hand side, which Stuart Pearce will go across to take in the opening seconds. And this is what the Malaysians are worried about, the uh, height of England on set plays. Gary Charles moving away, Pierce takes. Header out was by Jaya. And here's a chance for Lineker. It's in! The first minute and Gary Lineker scores for England. The Davidson goalkeeper Hassan got a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. And an electric start here in the heat of Kuala Lumpur for England and their captain. The Malaysians thought they'd cleared the free kick, but when the ball went back in, Jeff Thomas was well forward helping it on, and Lineker's left foot shot, keeper could only help it up into the top of the net. Oh, and a mistake by Des Walker. And Zainal, what a chance he had there. The local hero, Zainal Aberdeen, number 17. But he'll be furious with himself for not doing better with that chance. He's got a good record for Malaysia in front of goal, but not then. And a spot of relief for Des Walker, really. Here's Batty. Oh, and there's a chance for John Salako. And the goalkeeper does well there because Lineker was coming in to finish it off. Well, I think that was a better ball than Salako realised. He's in the shade late in setting off for that pass. Oh, what a bad back pass. It's Lineker. Side netting. is well forward and there is right oh and Nigel Clough was close and it's been stabbed in Lineker again Gary Lineker gets the second for England from the corner and that's 2-0 and they've both gone to the captain the corner swung in here by Pierce. Mark Wright may have just got a touch there and Lineker turns it in and now John Sulaco has switched from the right wing to the left for England, number 11. Also need to point out, I suppose, that if England score one more, and I'm sure they probably will, it'll equal their best total under Graham Taylor so far, which is three against the Soviet Union. Jeff Thomas. And Lineker again! Good save by the goalkeeper. Here's Platt. Oh, and Lineker at the near post has done it! It's a hat-trick for the England captain. Well, the first shot was quite well saved by the goalkeeper, Hassan, and uh, as it moved out wide to David Platt, held the ball up well, clipped it into the near post, and there was Gary Lineker with the faintest of touches into the net, and a hat-trick. Taken by Nasir. They've got the big uh, number five in there, Lee. Someone to the near post, in fact. What? Pulled right back. Oh, couldn't get the shot in. That was uh, Dollar who was close. This is Jaya. Yeah. Onside, Macklan. Little ball played back in. What a good little Jaya! Chris Wood snatches it. Nigel Clough collecting. Finding Sulaco. Gary Charles overlapping. Oh, what a splendid overhead effort by David Platt. Well, he hasn't scored on this tour, but he's worked, as usual, furiously hard and might have pulled off there one of the goals of the season. So, Ahmad here. For back heel, Matlin. Matlin, goal for Malaysia. The first that ever scored against England. And stadium erupts. It's 3 1. And number seven, Matlan Marjan, 
becomes the first player in his country's history to score a goal against England after nine minutes of the second half. Little back heel by Zinal was quite superb and then Matlin got away from Mark Wright and seized his chance with his left foot. And again, number 18. Batty intercepts. Platt. Thomas. Pierce coming up. And David Platt's in for this. It might come on to John Solarco. And the chance is there, and it's number four. And who is it else but Gary Lineker? And he's equaled the four he scored in Spain. As John Solarco chips the ball in beyond the substitute goalkeeper, and Lineker is first again with the header. Thomas. Linica's in there again. Just into the side netting. He was inches away from number five. We've been playing half an hour in the second half here in Kuala Lumpur and there's Zainal closing in on Gary Charles. It's 4-1 to England. And that back pass by Batty might mean it's 4-2 now. It's Matlan again. And it's there. The Malaysians have scored again. And it's the same player. Number seven, Matlan. And a dreadful back pass that really presented him with the goal and makes the score 4-2 and gives the home supporters something to cheer about again. Well, he will be a hero now, the number seven. Two goals against England in Kuala Lumpur. And David Batty will want to forget that back pass, Trevor. It was a tired looking back pass, uh, just shinned it a bit. Matlin kept his head very well, um, Chris Wood. Back to Clough. Still Nigel Clough. Pierce. Jeff Thomas. Pierce goes for a possible return. Here he is, Stuart Pierce. Goalkeeper. Ball to Lineker. Oh no. There's no question then. Uh, Stuart Pierce was after a goal. And again. Like on a number of occasions, Malaysian defenders and on this time the goalkeeper, as you see the ball bounces up, the goalkeeper very wary of Stuart Pearce, not surprised, gets a knock and as the ball then is flicked over by Nigel Clough, it's teasingly just a bit too high for Gary Lineker. And finally, as we go back after this exhausting trip to uh, these three countries, have you any thoughts now about how you'd see, like to see England tours structured in the future? Well, I think the, the, the difficult one is the one after the World Cup. Uh, and this one brought a lot of pressure on it as soon as it was a full tour. Because however you play, if you, we were to have lost any one of these games, uh, all hell would have let loose at home. There wouldn't have been any consideration given to the players that uh, are making their debuts. And also the fact the record books would have shown it forever. And, and none of the players wanted that. So I think the year after the World Cup, I think probably consideration ought to be given to perhaps a tournament in the country where the next World Cup is going to be played. For instance, it wouldn't have been a bad thing if we'd gone and had a couple of games in America. I, th I would have seen a little bit more sense in that, and I'm not being disrespectful to, in fact, coming out over here, because I understand that the Football Association and England have to be seen to be waving the flag. And, and, and also, it's important because there's a lot of people, particularly in Malaysia, very, very keen on English football. But I think to make it a full tour, with all due respect to our host, puts added pressure on England, which isn't called for. It's unnecessary. We don't need to have that kind of pressure on us for this kind of tour.